So it is officially October and that means Halloween will be coming up soon. Um, and recently I posted a post on my Instagram where I did a really cool makeup um, Halloween look like Pennywise inspired on my friend and a lot of you guys really liked it and some of you asked if I could show you how I did it. So today I'm going to be showing you how I did that makeup look as well as another really cool makeup look that I want to show you guys as well but I'll show you when I get to it later. So I'm really excited to do this today. I've got all my makeup set up and I'm ready to start doing some makeup looks. So let's get started. All right, so firstly, I'm gonna be showing you how I did my Pennywise makeup look. So what I'm gonna start with is covering my face with this um, white face paint. So I have my little palette here that I'm just gonna put it on. Um, so when I was using this, it was very like, not like sheer, but it wasn't like as full coverage. So I'm gonna have to do like maybe two coats of this and I'm just gonna be using this face paint brush. And I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna cover my entire face. Okay, so I've pretty much applied um, my first layer. Um, I look a little bit like a disaster at the moment, but I'm gonna go in with a second coat just because like there's just some areas that look a little bit patchy. So I'm just gonna go over that. Um, also, I made sure that I went over like my eyelids as well, uh, just so like it didn't look, look weird when I put the eyeshadow on later. And um, I didn't really worry about getting too much of my nose because I'm gonna be putting red over that later. Uh, but, I mean, if you guys want to, you can go on your neck, but since I don't really have like the costume or anything at the moment, um, I'm just gonna be doing it for my face. So, I'm gonna go in with the second coat. And if any of you guys were wondering as well, this uh, white base is from Makeup Revolution. Okay, let's get, can we keep on going? Okay, so I finished putting all of the white face paint on my face. Um, I also went in with like a beauty blender as well just to kind of help smooth it out a little bit. But um, now what I'm going to be doing is actually kind of forgot to do this at the start, I'm sorry. But I'm going to glue my eyebrows down because I kind of want to make them a little bit smaller. Um, so I'm going to um, put glue, glue over them and then some setting powder as well and then put some more white face paint over it and then draw over them later with um, just some black eyeliner because I don't really have any black uh, brow gel. But now what I'm going to be doing is just setting my face with some setting powder. I have this mini one from Makeup Forever. I really want to get the big one but it's always sold out at Sephora so I have this mini one that I'm going to be using instead. And also it's white. Like I feel like a lot of the other translucent um, powders that I have have a little bit more of like a yellow kind of like undertone to them so I'm going to be using this one and I'm just going to be using this powder brush as well from Morphe just to put it all over my face um, and this will just kind of help it to like stop like from creasing in that as well and maybe kind of help it dry a little bit faster as well so I'm going to put this all over my face. So that's all for um, the setting powder. Uh, now I'm gonna keep on like continuing with my eyebrows. So I'm just gonna be putting a little bit more white face paint over over them in hopes that they will hopefully disappear. <laughs> Usually people use like color correctors, I know, when they're trying to like cover up their eyebrows. But um, I don't really have a color corrector, so we're just gonna um, use what we have. <laughs> Okay, so I've covered up my eyebrows. I'm just gonna let that uh, dry. And in the meantime, what I'm gonna be doing is the black eyeshadow um, just on my eyelids. So I'm just gonna get this brush here and I'm gonna be using my James Charles palette here. And I'm just gonna be dipping into this shade, the black one here. And what I'm gonna be doing is kind of blending it out really far. I just wanna make things look really dark, not really like neat like it not, doesn't really have like any shape to it I don't know how to like describe it like kind of like this so 
to like circle and then um, I'm just gonna blend it go underneath my eye as well I'm really bad at like describing makeup and everything so apologies for that like maroon kind of shade over here as well and I'm just gonna put blend this into my crease Okay, so I finished with the black eyeshadow. Um, I also went ahead and just kind of like corrected. I think I went a little bit too high with the eyeshadow, so I just corrected it um, as well with the white face paint. But now what I'm going to be doing is drawing on my eyebrows. So I have this black uh, eyeliner here from Fenty Beauty, and what I'm going to be doing is just drawing like just like a small kind of eyebrow, like because my kind of like already a little bit bigger, so. I want to just kind of make them a little bit smaller and dark because usually in the movie like he has like white eyebrows like it's kind of just like a crease sort of but um I kind of want to change it up a little bit as well I've seen other people just use black um eyeliner as well for eyebrows so that's what I'm going to be doing doing the eyebrows um I've never really had a lot of luck I'll be honest when it comes to like redrawing eyebrows on but for now it's gonna have to do I kind of did like more of a curve shape because usually they're a little bit like straighter kind of like that but I did more of like a curved shape as well um and so what I'm gonna really really quickly do is just clean up my eyebrows because they're a little bit uh just like a little bit messy in some areas or kind of went out of the line so I'm just going to really quickly clean that up. Okay, so now what I'm going to be doing is the red lipstick as well as like the little lines that go up there. Um, so I have this red liquid lipstick from NARS that I'm going to be using. I'm just going to pour some onto my palette. And um, have this really fine brush make sure when you're doing this use a very fine brush because it can be a little bit tedious trying to do the lines but um what I'm going to be doing is just kind of connecting it from my lip here into sort of like a curve and then going to um just my lower uh lash line okay this is always like the hardest bit because I'm like always shake so much so I'm going to try and be very careful and you'll start from here. Okay, so that's one of the lines. I mean, you could probably go out maybe a little bit further, but for now, that's like going to do. I'm pretty happy with how that looks. Um, and I'm going to be doing the other side now. I'm going to try my best to try and like match them up as well. That can be a little bit hard. Okay. So, I mean, that doesn't look too bad. That looks pretty even, actually. I mean, that's what I think. I'm not sure what you guys think, but... I think that looks okay. Um, so I'm going to be drawing the little triangles as well um, that go on top of my brow. So I'm going to try and do it here, just here. So it's kind of like the bottom of the triangle is kind of like placed in the middle of where this line is. So you probably 
tell the one, this one looks a little bit bigger than that one at the moment so I have to quickly try and fix that up. Okay, so I finished filling in my nose now. We're almost done. Um, what I'm going to be doing now is just grabbing just like this sort of small flat brush and I'm going to be dipping into this red shade in the palette and just blending out the lines as well. Kind of just makes it look a little bit more spooky if you will, but yeah. So I mean, probably wouldn't, don't really need the eyeshadow because the lipstick will usually just like blend out. I'm just going to blend it out. Okay, so I finished blending out um, all the red lines. I also went underneath my lip line just a little bit here, so my bottom lip. Um, but this is how it looks. Um, I'm also going to do my hair into two little pigtails as well, just to kind of make it look a little bit more like the penny lines. Well, sorry, no, like the girl kind of version of Pennywise because he doesn't wear pigtails in the movie. Okay, so this is the hair all done. I also put some red ribbons in, in there as well. Um, but this is how the Pennywise inspired makeup look looks um it would be really good if i had the costume as well but this is more just to kind of show you guys how to do the makeup look um it'll be really good as well if i had like yellow contacts but um i hate putting them in so uh yeah this is what it looks like i had do will i will say um i think i needed to let the white face paint dry just a little bit more just because when i blended it it kind of like mixed in it looks a little bit more like Kind of looks a little bit smudged, but I mean, still, like, I think it looks good. Um, and hopefully, maybe you guys will be able to use this for Halloween. So, I'm going to clean up now. Alright, so I'm all cleaned up now. I still have, like, red on my face still from the lipstick. Um, but it's okay, so I'm going to be covering up with makeup. But now for this second Halloween makeup tutorial, I'm going to be doing a stitched face look. So, one side's going to be makeup and the other side's going to be all bruised and, like, yucky and it's going to be held together with like a stitch running along there so I'm actually going to be using real string just to kind of make it look like it's been stitched so I'm really excited to do this tutorial so let's start okay so to start off this tutorial I'm going to start by marking my face so just like where this stitch is gonna run so I'm just going to be using from my lip palette here because I don't really have a face paint kit I really want to get one um, it'll be really useful but um i'm going to be using this dark purpley shade and it's kind of going to give like the bruise kind of like stitch look to it so that's why i'm using that shade but just with this very like fine angle brush i'm going to be marking the line so it runs just through the middle of my face here it doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to be covered by like a lot of fake blood and everything there we go and so this one's just gonna help, so like I know where to do the makeup, like up to. So now that I've got the line marked, I'm gonna start with my pretty side of the face. So I'm going to be using my foundation. I've already primed this side of my face. I'm using the Born This Way foundation, and I am going to start with just buffing that into my face. Okay, so I finished blending my foundation. So I have my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I am just going to put that underneath my eye, a little bit on my nose, here on my chin and it's up there. And I'm going to blend that in as well just with a smaller brush. This is from the Jeffree Star and Morphe collection. How cool are these? How cool is, like, is this packaging by the way? Anyway, I'm going to be blending. Okay, so I have finished blending the concealer and I'm just going to be using my Glow Mercier setting powder just to set the concealer. 
sealer and foundation in place. It's already getting on my top. Like I never, like usually you don't really wear like dark tops when you're doing like powder and stuff because it always gets on it. I'm like ugh. now um what I'm gonna be doing is the bronzer so I have this bronzer from Anastasia that I'm gonna be using um let me get my brush hmm, which brush these okay I'll use this brush um and I'm just gonna be going here on my jawline So I finished with, oh, wait, no, I haven't. <laughs> I always forget this step. Like I swear all the time I always do it. Um, but I'm going to be going just on my jawline here and on my nose and just on my forehead as well. Okay. So now I actually have finished the bronzer. Um, I'm going to be using my MAC blush uh, just on my cheeks as well. Okay, so now that I've finished the blush, I'm going to be putting the highlighter on my face. So this is the Becca Champagne Pop One. Um, this one's so pretty. It's really bright as well. And I'm just going to be using this highlighting brush from Morphe just to put it on. All right, so now for the eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Sultry palette from Anastasia. And I'm just going to be doing a very, like, kind of neutral eyeshadow look. So I'm going to be using a lot of the brown shades. Um, and I'm going to start by um, putting this brown shade called Twig just in my crease. So I finished blending that out and I'm just going to be going in with a darker shade. This one's called Dystopian and I'm just going to put that just in my crease here. Okay and now I'm going to be grabbing this shade called Birch and I'm just going to put it um, just on my lid here. Okay, so just with this small brush here, I'm going to be dipping into this shade called Pearl and just going on like my crease, or sorry, just my lid here, just halfway, just add a bit more shine to it. Okay, so I finished the eyeshadow, but now just with, um, where's it gone? With the highlighter, I'm just gonna go in my inner corner and just on my brow bone here. And I almost want to do it, but um, I am going to be just, I think I'll use Twig just on my lower lash line. Okay, so I finished the eyeshadow. I'm just going to be putting on some mascara. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, and it is definitely my favorite mascara of all time. I think I just mis said mascara like 50 times in that one sentence, but yeah, it's like my favorite mascara ever. It's just so good, and it adds a lot more volume to my lashes. Alright, 
And now what I'm going to be doing, just really quickly, filling in my scar and my brow up here. Usually I leave my brows because I'm pretty happy with the shape of them already. Um, but I just want to fill in the scar on this side. And now I'm just going to be really quickly doing my lipstick. So this is from Cuter Beauty. I am going to be using the Bombshell Lip Contour. And now I'm just going to be using the Power Bullet Lipstick in the shade Interview just to fill in my lips. Okay, so that's this side of my makeup all done. So it's like the pretty side. I keep on forgetting so many sets of my makeup today. I've been so distracted with school and everything. Um, but I'm going to quickly set this side. Okay. Now I've done this side of my makeup. Um, and now it's time to get into the more spooky side of it. So I'm going to be working on the stitch. So firstly what I'm going to be doing is just lining it with um, some red lipstick from this palette, the red shade. And I'm just going to go over the purple line with this. Um, and this is just more so like it will look a bit more like blood and I think I'll add some black to it later as well just to kind of make it look like a scab. Okay, um, and just with a small brush here, I'm going to dip into the, the black shade from the James Charles palette and just blend it in to the wound. The wound. The, the, the stitch. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to be taking another very small brush here, it's so tiny, it's so cute, um, and I have some concealer and I'm just going to outline this scab here and because usually when I've like seen other people do like a stitch like this, they'll do like the latex and um, like the putty as well to make it look like the scab's kind of like open, but what I did was um, I just added a concealer just to kind of make it like lighten up and it almost gives it the effect that it's been like open or like it's like peeling so the concealer is just going to help give it that effect. Now with this flat brush here, I'm just going to blend the concealer just a little bit, not too much, um, into my skin. Alright, so now what it's time to do is the uh, stitches. So firstly, I'm going to start by marking where I'm going to put the stitches just with some black lipstick. And I just have this very fine brush. And I'm just going to put two dots on both sides. And so then I'll just put a piece of string there and it'll look like a stitch. So I think I'm going to do at least like nine or ten stitches. So I'm going to do about that many markings. Okay, so I finished laying down all the stitches and try not to move my mouth too much because they might come unstuck. But um, while I'm waiting for the glue to dry, what I'm going to be doing is um, doing the bruising on this side of my face. So doing that, I'm going to be using some
some purple eyeshadow with a mix of black eyeshadow as well, just to make it look like it's bruised and dirty. So I'm gonna be mixing the two and just go like that. Like, it's nothing's really supposed to be perfect with this step, step. it's just more like, it looks like dirty. Alright, so I think that the, fit, the stitches and the glue have like finished drying. So now what I'm going to be doing is adding some fake blood to it because honestly, fake blood like just helps fix up like the entire makeup look. It just makes it come together and it looks so much better with it. So I just have some stage blood here and I'm just going to be using a very thin brush as well just to kind of apply it to the inside of the wound so just going like that also kind of like smudging it as well to make it look like it's like dripping all right so already i think it looks a lot better um, but I'm just going to be taking this sponge here and dipping into the blood and just adding some of the blood just kind of like to the outside to make it look like it was a bit smudged. Alright, so um, I have finished all putting all the fake blood. Uh, I think it looks really good. Uh, it kind of looks like my face is stitched together. <laughs> but um, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, yeah, I just think, like I said, the fake blood just makes it look really good. And it's kind of like it's like smudged the, the blood as well on the outside. Um, but yeah, just like the only concerns that the stitches might be like a uh, it look like they might like come off or something so if you were actually going to wear this to Halloween you probably need like um, to make sure they're definitely down and secure or use something maybe a little bit stronger like maybe lash glue stronger than um, just PVA glue but otherwise I think it looks really good and I'm really happy with how it turned out. So those were some Halloween makeup tutorials that maybe you guys can wear for Halloween this year. That would be really cool if you did. Um, if you guys have any other Halloween makeup suggestions that you would like me to do, then make sure you tell me on my Instagram at Grace's World Official. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time on Grace's Room. Bye for now.